and welcome to Bible Story Adventures with Rondi Rabbit, courtesy of Sherry Hills Ministries. This is Rondi Rabbit, and I'm Mama Roz, and today we will read another exciting Bible story about God telling Noah to build an ark. Okay, would you like to hear that story, Rondi? I'd love to hear that story. Okay, let's start with your theme song. going by reading a book. Just take a look, she's reading a book. Rondi gets going by reading a book. So let's get going with me. <laughs> Yay, Rondi, very good. <laughs> okay, so today we are going to read about Noah building an ark. So God told Noah to build an ark. Okay, Rondi, so we're going to read about that. Okay? Okay. All right, let's start. So in, in the world outside of Eden, Adam and his children's children lived a different life from the one God had planned for them in Eden. Even so, God didn't forget them, and he never stopped loving them. But more and more of the people forgot, uh, forgot God and stopped loving him. Yeah, they stopped loving God. Um, you know, it's a sad thing, but they sometimes when people get busy with living their lives and doing the things that they want to do, their mind no longer thinks about God. They're just busy thinking about the things that they want to do in their lives. That's sad. Yeah, it really is sad that we would forget to think about God. So let's keep on reading, okay? Okay, keep reading. All right, I'll keep reading. So, um, uh, after many years, God became very unhappy. So it really, you know, it made God sad um, that people forgot about it. So it says that um, he became very unhappy. The world was not as he wanted it to be. His people had become more and more evil. He decided to, to put an end to it all. The world needed a new beginning. What, Rondi? A new beginning? Yes. Um, you know, God made the world. Remember we read all about that? I remember. So he made the world, but at some point, the world it became so bad that God needed to to do it again. So so that's what happened, okay? Okay, keep reading. All right, let's keep reading. Um so God decided to send a huge flood to wash away everything that was bad. But there was a man called Noah who loved God. Noah and his family were good and kind. And God wanted to save them. So he gave Noah very careful instructions and told him to get ready for the flood. He told Noah to build an enormous boat called an ark. He told... What, Rondi? Is that the ark? Yeah, that's that's the ark. Um, it's It was a really, really, really enormous, enormous, enormous boat. Um, so... Let's keep reading, and maybe it'll tell us more about how big this ark actually was. Okay. So, um, he told him to fill it with two of every kind of animal in the world. Noah told his neighbors what, he, what God was planning, but they all laughed at him because there was not, um, because there had never been rain. So, um, so... The people laughed at Noah, but Noah 
um, was doing what God told him to do. So sometimes, uh, Rondi, when God is telling us to do things, people don't understand and they will laugh at it. They will laugh about um, a person that is uh, following God and trying to, to do what God has told them to do. But just remember that if God has told, given something to do, that that means that it's good to do. And um, so Noah went ahead and he he was doing what God told him to do. Okay? Okay, that's really a good thing to do is to keep doing what God has told you to do. Even if somebody is laughing. Absolutely, Rondi. Even if somebody is laughing, we still need to just keep, you know, keep doing what, what God told us to do. Okay, all right, so um, so Noah ignored that they were laughing at him, and he worked hard for months, and months he worked hard for a long time, Randy, and he built an ark so big, it was high as, it was as tall as trees. That's really, really, really tall. Yes, it was. Um, so let's keep reading about it, okay? All right, keep reading. Okay. So when the ark was finished, Noah gathered together all the creatures as God had told him. So Rondi, God, he was he wanted to start the world again. He didn't want to just end the world. He wanted to get rid of the wickedness that was in the world and start again. So he loved not only Noah and his family, he not only loved people to restart the world, but he also loved the animals. Yes, he loved the animals, too. Oh, that's a good guy. <laughs> he is. He's a wonderful guy. So, let's keep reading, okay? Okay, keep reading. Okay. So, the line of animals went on and on, but soon they all were safely on board. Then Noah loaded the ark with enough food to last for a long, long time. What you doing, Randy? Yeah, I see them. Right there. I see that. Is that a zebra? Yes, you're right. That is a zebra. <laughs> you're very smart, Rondi. That's a, a zebra and that's a squirrel. That's a squirrel. <laughs> he saved all of the animals. He loves all of them. He loves the, the squirrels. He loves the, the bunny rabbits. He loves, he loves all of us. Oh, he's a good guy. I know you do. I love God too. Okay. All right. As soon as Noah and his wife and the rest of the family were safely on board with the animals, God shut the door firmly behind them. <laughs> well, the story goes on longer, but that's the end of this story for today. So today, Rondi, we're going to stop right there and then we'll pick up more and read more about the story, okay? Okay. So we're going to say bye for now, and we'll find out um, the next time that we read. Okay. Bye. <laughs> bye, everybody. Until next time. Bye-bye.